Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem on the concept of polarization. Let us first read out the problem. It is given that unpolarized light of intensity 32 watt per meter square passes through three polarizers such that the transmission axis of the last one is crossed with the first one. If the intensity of the emerging light is 3 watt per meter square, what's the angle between the first two polarizers axis? That's the problem. So let me try to draw what he has given in the problem. Say this is a baseline. This is the first polarizer. Polarizer 1. Who is experiencing a unpolarized light having both vertical and horizontal vibrations and its intensity is given for you as 32 watt per meter square now it is passed through one crystal second crystal we don't know the angle let's assume angle of the axis of the second crystal with the first crystal is something like theta that's the second crystal now there is a third crystal also third polarizer also the third polarizer is set in such a way that it is its axis this is the axis is crossed with the axis of the first one this is the axis of the first one that means the first axis and the third axis has to be perpendicular to each other if that's the case, how much angle this third crystal makes with the axis of the second crystal? This is the axis of the second crystal. Then the third crystal makes an angle of something like with the axis of this crystal. Because the first and last are 90 and being this is theta, this total angle has to be automatically 90 minus theta from here to here is 90 from this axis to the last axis in that 90 this is theta so automatically this remaining angle is nothing but equal to the 90 minus theta This is what he has given for you and he further said the emerging light is having a intensity of 3 watt per meter square if that is the case what is this angle theta is his question so if the initial intensity is i naught unpolarized light after coming out of the first, it will become I naught by 2 cos square theta. After coming out of the third, it becomes I naught by 2 cos square theta is input. Out of which again cos square of 90 minus theta will be the component that is going to come out. So we can write a formula. I resultant is I naught by 2 cos square theta and cos square 90 minus theta. This i resultant is given as 3, i naught is given as 32, cos square theta, and cos square 90 minus theta is nothing but equal to sin square theta. This is the sin square theta. Now we can write further 2 16 is uh, uh, say 32, then 3 equal to 16 we can write that cos square theta and sin square theta using a formula something like sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta sin 2 theta by 2 is sin theta cos theta sin square theta and cos square theta means sin square 2 theta by 4 that implies instead of this i can write sin square 2 theta by 4 
So for force, simplifying this further, sine square 2 theta becomes 3 by 4, sine 2 theta becomes root 3 by 2, 2 theta becomes 60 degree, that implies theta becomes 30 degree. So here the angle is 30 degree, here the angle is 60 degree, therefore the first and last are perpendicular to each other. That's it. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.